It's done. Mr. Hildebrand's theory of everything. It's handwritten, and there's only one copy. What could possibly go wrong? All done, huh? How'd it come out? <laughs> Ooh, was that important? Yes, that was important. You can't just write it again? No, I can't write it again. I spent a year working on that. <laughs> yep, it's broken. How can punching a wall break your hand? Newton's third law, that's how. Which says, for every action force, there's an equal but opposite reaction force. So if you apply a force of a thousand newtons from your hand on the wall, this law says the wall applies the same force a thousand newtons back on your hand. And that force can break your bones. Let's try a demonstration. Here, two scales are pulled, so both scales read 20 newtons. If the person pulling scale 1 only pulls with 10 newtons, then scale 2 also reads 10 newtons. If the person pulling scale 2 pulls harder, so it reads 20 newtons, then scale 1 reads 20 newtons as well. It is impossible to pull them both and have different readings because the force from one scale on the other scale is equal in strength but opposite in direction. Have you ever pushed a wall while riding a scooter? You apply a force on the wall and a wall applies the same strength force back on you. When you jump, you push down on the ground and the ground pushes back up on you. Newton's third law explains how we can walk. When you walk, you push backwards on the ground and the ground applies the same strength force forward on you. You do the same thing while riding rollerblades. You push backwards on the ground and the ground pushes you forwards. To stop, you might apply a force forward on a table and the table applies a force back on you, causing you to stop. Cars use this concept as well. The tires push backwards on the road and the road pushes forwards on the tires. Snakes don't have legs to push backwards on the ground. Instead, snakes use their body to push backwards on the ground, which then pushes them forwards. When people ski, they push the snow in the opposite direction that they want to turn. To turn right, push left on the snow. The snow applies the same force back on you, but in the opposite direction. Here we see a fan cart. The fan blows air backwards. As a result, the air pushes forwards on the cart, making it accelerate. Just remember, the two forces are equal in strength. The propeller on an airplane does the same thing, but on a larger scale. It pushes air backwards, and the air produces a force called thrust in the forward direction. Birds push air down, and the air under the wing pushes the birds up. And again, the force that the bird pushes down on the air is the same strength force that the air pushes up on the bird. Helicopters are a great demonstration of Newton's third law. A spinning rotor blade pushes air down, and that air pushes the rotor up. The forces are equal in strength, but opposite in direction. In other words, the force that the rotor puts downward on the air is the same strength that the air pushes upwards on the rotor with. A swimmer pushes back on the starting block, and the starting block pushes the swimmer forward. Once in the water, the swimmer pushes backwards on the water, and the water pushes forwards on the swimmer. A propeller on a boat does the same thing. It pushes water backwards, and the water pushes forwards on the propeller. The forces are equal in strength, but opposite in direction. Recoil from a cannon is explained using Newton's third law. The cannon applies a force on the cannonball, and the cannonball applies the same strength force back on the cannon. You might think that the force on the cannon is bigger, but they are the same. It is a big enough force to move the cannon, or these people. Just imagine what that force does to the little tiny projectile. The best example of Newton's third law is a rocket. This balloon rocket only needs to push air out of the back, and the air pushes forwards on the balloon. Here's a bottle rocket. Pushing water down, 
the water pushes up on the rocket. This model rocket pushes exhaust out the back. The exhaust then pushes up on the rocket, making it accelerate into the sky. A real rocket, like the space shuttle here, works the same as a model rocket, but on a larger scale. These rockets push exhaust, fire, and gases out of the back. That means the exhaust pushes forward on the rocket. While in space, rockets accelerate by pushing exhaust in the opposite direction. That could mean speeding up, slowing down, or turning. To move right, they push exhaust to the left, and push exhaust to the right to move to the left. Rockets do not need to push against the ground or the air in order to accelerate. They just need to push something out of the back. Some people think that the two forces will cancel out because they are equal in strength and opposite in direction. But keep in mind, they do not cancel out because one force is on one object and the other force is on a different object. They are equal in strength but acting on different objects. They cannot cancel out.